Alright guys, welcome back. Today, I want to go over the basics of scrolling frames inside of Roblox Studio. Now, scrolling frames are essential uh, because you could see these being used in things like shops, pretty much anything that you can scroll, whether it's horizontal or vertical. And to create many UI components, you need to understand how to use scrolling frames. So I'm going to walk you guys through some basics um, and hopefully this can help you get started as to how you can start using these inside of your own UIs. And if you go over to our store and you hit tutorials right here, you will find we have four available premium tutorial videos right now. And we also have a bundle called the Design Academy. So if you guys are interested, check out our store. We also have design assets. As you can see, your support is essential to keeping these videos coming. So thank you. So first things first, we need to actually add a screen to UI with a frame called canvas. This is my uh, usual setup. Anchor point, 0.5 and 0.5. Position, we're gonna go scale. Make sure it is scale. We're gonna go 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And then size, we're gonna go scale one and one offset zero and zero and then i'm just gonna go for i guess a background color like so now we have a canvas setup which is fantastic and to get started uh, we're actually going to make a frame inside of canvas so let's go for a basic frame anchor point 0 0.5 0 0.5 same thing here so we have uh, this in the center of our screen here and then we can actually let's resize this uh create some create a basic shape here for example let me place it back here okay this will be our main and then i'm going to add a corner so ui corner some basic styling uh zero radius 0 0.05 i'm going to modify the color just slightly uh, lighter than our background okay now that we have a basic setup to add our scrolling frame it is quite simple just click here and type in scrolling and you can see it is the screen icon right here and as you see we have our scrolling frame right here anchor point we're gonna go 0.5 and 0.5 once more and then we're also going to let's resize our frame first place it in the center and here we are, we have our basic scrolling frame, which you can see we have a scroll bar that we can scroll vertically. Now, actually for us, we have to convert the size into scale. So I'm not gonna use a plugin. I usually would use my UI tools. So offset zero, zero, and then we're gonna go scale 0.1 and simply resize using uh, this dragger right here. And then you know, actually a little wider. Okay. Now let's take a look at what happens if we add a basic frame inside of our scrolling frame. I'm going to make this red and anchor point 0 0.5, 0 0.5. All right, for example. And you can see if we scroll, it is working properly. But we have a ton of options right here. We have under the scrolling tab, we have things like the scroll bar image color we have scroll bar thickness we have vertical scroll bar inset and we even have things like scrolling direction now let's say we add a basic list layout right and we go horizontal center okay i'm gonna copy all these add some basic padding and i'm just going to keep copying until i run out of uh, scrolling space how can we increase this canvas size well it's very simple. Go into your scrolling frame and canvas size. Go into Y and increase the scale value. Let's say we could go for four. Now you can see we have even more scrolling. Let's go ahead and change the background transparency to one. So now we have this. And we could also go to scroll bar image color. We could also modify this color like so. Um, you will see Roblox is default scroll bar image you can't go fully completely white as you can see it remains like this kind of uh, shaded gray color if you guys want a fix on how you can fix that 
I will possibly make a video in the future. Now, um, something we could also do is add a corner to our scrolling frame. And let's go for, let's say, 0 0.05. And you're wondering, what is the point if we can't even see it? But well, we can actually add a stroke, right, as well. You go for 3 pixels, or 5, and change the color. Now you can see we have quite a cool ring right here. And I'm going to change our list layout into a grid, like so. And then we go cell size. Let's go for offset 0. Let's go for scale 0.1 and 0.1. Since our scrolling frame has a canvas size Y of like 4, we have to decrease this value actually. So let's go for it. We go for like 0 0.35, for example. And then I'm just going to copy all these, boom, boom, boom. And then I'm going to go for some uh, padding here. Zero, five. So we're just going to copy a bunch of frames, just like so. And then if you see, as we change our screen size, go into our scrolling frame, you go for vertical scroll bar inset, always. And you can see this will create uh, padding or a margin between our content and our scrolling bar, which is very helpful. As you can see, it always has this margin. Now, lastly, uh, let's convert our scrolling frame into a horizontally scrolling frame. On here, scrolling direction, we're gonna go for X, and we have to modify our canvas size to have an X value. Let's go for two, for example. And now you can see we can scroll just like so. Now also our contents have uh, also adjusted because these are all scaled by the grid layout. So for X, we could go for 0.1 if you want to fix the, um, the sizing. All right guys, I hope that covers the basics of scrolling frames. If you guys want more, um, there is a lot more to cover. Uh, make sure you drop a like down below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time.